Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. So today we are going to see what is an app bar web recorder in the new modern design uh, studio. Okay, so uh, if you are familiar with the latest version of UiPath and if you have uh, moved that to the modern uh, designer, uh, you should have seen this app bar web recorder. Okay, so here I have opened two instances of UiPath. Okay, so uh, this is the old design. Okay, so here uh, if you if you are familiar with this older version, here there will be one recording button will be there and if you click on that, uh, you will be able to see some 6 recorders are there, right? Like basic recorder, desktop recorder, web recorder, image recorder, native Citrix and computer vision, right? So this was the classic design and in the uh, latest design of UiPath Studio, all these things got replaced with app bar web recorder, okay? And we can see a computer vision recorder. So what is this app bar web recorder? That's what we are going to uh, see today okay so if you are uh, using the latest version of uh, uh, ui path and still uh, you are not able to uh, see this uh, app bar web recorder what you have to do is you have to switch your uh, ui path to the modern design okay so i have already done a video on the modern as well as the classic design of ui path so you can go there and understand what are the latest changes that has happened to uh, the modern design okay so here i will show you again like how you can switch back for that what you have to go, do is go to settings go to design okay here use modern for new project okay so if you give modern for new project it will switch to the modern design okay so that is one way and if it got already open with a uh, older version and if you want to switch back to new new version what you have to do is click on analyze file click on analyze project uh, sorry not analyze project uh, click on workflow analyzer setting okay uh, go to general and here you will have to use modern design experience okay so if you click on that it will open again uh, with the new designer okay so hope you are clear with that and uh, here in this uh, new modern design you can see app bar web recorder and the computer vision okay so let us understand what is app bar web recorder so app bar web recorder uses a new approach for ui automation and anchor based multi-technology element identification system okay it generates modern activity okay so as i mentioned in the new ui path studio or in the modern designer there are a lot of new activities got added and there are a lot of changes happened to the existing activities as well okay so uh, if you are using app bar web recorder it will use the latest or the modern activities for creating your workflow okay and this app bar web recorder is using a new approach for doing this ui automation and it is totally based on the anchor based okay so if you click on some button it will try to identify some label or some anchor then only it will generate the click activity okay and it is using the multi-technology element identification system okay so this is the latest recorder which is uh, implemented in ui path and this is the one recommended by ui path for doing your automations okay so for this uh, demo uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one uh, desktop application as well as one uh, web application to showcase you like how this recorder is going to work okay so let me do one thing let me go to this documentation of uh, app web, web recorder and let us understand more on this app bar web recorder okay so recording can help you save a lot of time when automating your task the app or web recorder captures your action as you perform them on the screen and generate a use application web uh, browser activity with a series of activities inside it based on your action so this we already know like a web recorder will help to um, minimize the time consumption right for uh, using uh, the activities from the uh, studio or from the activity panel and creating your workflow right if you're going for app uh, bar web recorder it will automatically um, capture the actions that we are going to do and it, it will create you a workflow okay so it will save a lot of time and it will be using a use application bar browser activity and it will be like a container okay so inside a container all our actions are going to get record so all user interface elements are highlighted while you record so that you can be sure the correct buttons fields or menus are selected okay the recorder captures a default action for each type of ui element and also allow you to manually choose the desired action before performing it okay so this is nothing but like uh, for each recording uh, if you're going for this app bar web recorder it will highlight you the 
anchor as well as the uh, the field to which that you're going to uh, do some action okay also based on the field it will automatically find out the um, action also like suppose if you are trying to click on some button it will automatically choose the click button okay but suppose if you are trying to enter some value to some text field it will automatically choose the type action to type the value or suppose if you are trying to select some value from a select field it will automatically choose the select action for selecting the value from the drop down okay so it is having some uh, intellectual property also to identify the properties of the field to uh, choose the action okay and in case suppose if you are you if you want to do some other action okay instead of the default one uh, you can choose the action also based on your requirement so all those things i will show you like how it is capturing and how you can choose the action based on your requirement the recorder uh, displays a preview of the activities that will be added to your project in real time the preview includes informative uh, screenshots that are also added to the activities in the automation project the preview section can be crossed by clicking record steps uh, header so uh, this is nothing but like for each activity that you are going to uh, record using the abba web recorder it will give you a preview of uh, the action uh, that is recorded okay so it will help to uh, identify like whether you need to include that step in your uh, uh, automation workflow or you can delete from there itself okay so that is one uh, benefit with uh, this app bar with recorder so each recorder action uh, generates an activity the following table is the action that you can record and the activity that are generated for them okay so some actions are automatically recorded which means the corresponding activity is automatically generated while other must be manually selected before being recorded so this is nothing but like uh, as i mentioned earlier like if you try to enter some value to text field it will automatically use the uh, type action for entering the value okay or if it is trying to click on some button it will automatically choose the click action but if you want to get some um, value okay get uh, get test from some button or from some field what you have to do you will have to use the get test activity right for that you will have to choose uh, the action manually okay otherwise it will uh, automatically choose the default actions like a uh, click activity okay so i will show you that and uh, so these are the steps for recording uh, your actions so let's go to our uh, demo okay from there i will give you more clarity okay so this is the application which i am going to uh, take for this uh, web recording so here i will have to enter one name and here i will have to give uh, one uh, month okay from the selection and i will have to click on this get unicorn name and it will give you uh, one uh, unicorn name and I, I will have to select that okay so that is one sample flow so what i am going to do is let me go to the app bar web recorder i am going to click on app bar web recorder okay so it the recording is already started so, okay so indicate an element to auto detect the action so what i'm going to do is just uh, click on this what is your name okay so i click on that and here what will happen it will uh, automatically identify the browser okay so it is using use browser uh, action and the application also launched using this use chrome uh, browser chrome okay then it is automatically identify this field as a text field and it, and it is asking us to enter the value which that i want to type over them okay so i'm going to enter the value like auto board and if you want an empty field you can choose this and if you want something else uh, if you don't want an empty field you can just remove this uh, checkbox okay and if you want to enter something based on some expression you can choose this and you can give the expression okay that's it so then click on um, confirm okay so it is entering the auto board and here here you can get the preview of that particular action that you have entered okay so what is the next action i need to select the value from uh, this month right so i'm clicking on that and here it will automatically identify uh, the action like a select item okay so it auto automatically identify this field as a uh, drop down menu and it uh, automatically selected the action as select okay so i'm going to choose it like me okay that's it click on enter okay so here you can see it has used a select item uh, activity for selecting the month okay then i'm going to click on this get unicorn name okay so it will automatically identify the click action and it will generate the click activity okay and here it has generated the uh, unicorn name right suppose if i want to take this uh, name what will happen so for a demo i am going to click on this okay if i click on this it will automatically choose a click activity to click on this particular name okay it is not choosing the get test activity okay so here you can see it has just clicked on this uh, ready name 
okay but our requirement is like we need to get this value right so what i'm going to do is let me delete this okay i don't want that and here just hover on top of this and from this you can choose the action okay so if you hover on top of this at the left uh, bottom you can see one action uh, panel click on that and choose get test okay so if you choose get test it will ask us to uh, enter the value or the variable to which the value need to be uh, generated okay so let me generate a new variable unicorn name enter okay so that's it and uh, you can pause the execution you can just save it and now your workflow is completed you can uh, get all the values here okay it is using get test and uh, here it is capturing the value and if you want to display it what you can do you can use a message uh, box and uh, ju just display that uh, value okay that's it let me execute this and show you how our script is working okay it generates the first name then uh, last name and it captured the uh, radiant snowflake dream and it is showing that value in the message box okay so that's it so this is how you need to create your automation flow okay so this part is done let me do one thing let me disable this flow okay and now i will show you how you can record the action for this uh, uh, desktop application okay so i'm going to tab by web recorder i'm going to enter the first value okay i'm going to name it like auto click on confirm okay and here you can see it has uh, automatically selected the use application and it is uh, pointing to the application okay then it use the type uh, uh, activity for entering the first name okay then enter the last name click on confirm then select a, okay suppose if i'm choosing mail okay to automatically choose the click activity and here we have to enter some value right okay so uh, i'm just marking it like uh, YouTube. Okay, some uh, values I'm just entering. Okay. Mm, Kerala. Control. Okay, so these are some uh, dummy values. You can uh, choose any values. Okay, based on uh, your uh, requirement. Uh, then card okay then i'm going to choose some value from the state okay so this is a uh, selective field right so it will automatically choose the select activity okay so select name i am just choosing some value from here click on enter that's it uh zip code you can enter some value okay i'm just entering some value click on confirm and uh, this is for phone number right okay i'm just entering gain some value over here nine 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 click on confirm and uh, email id also let me enter something okay so what's the value you need to enter photo board at uh, gmail.com that's it confirm okay so that's all that's uh, some uh, dummy process that i have uh, created now okay let me post it click on save okay so here you can see it has used the use application as a container and it will uh, open the uh, application then it will use the activities okay so it has automatically fetched the application form then uh, it will uh, use all the activities okay so let me do one thing let me execute this
okay so it is uh, uh, doing the same actions okay so it is entering your address line one line two city state okay so our execution got completed so this is how you can use the app bar web recorder to uh, record your applications and uh, it will just uh, uh easify your work okay so you can easily create your workflow and uh, you can record your actions and you can save it as a, a, a workflow okay and it is using uh, the uh anchor based activities for creating each activity and it is using the modern activities okay so you can try out this app or web recorder to uh, do actions in your application and uh, you can see like what are the actions that is uh, providing by uh, this app or web recorder to Mm, action some uh, something on your applications okay so hope you find this video is useful uh, if you find this video useful please like the video like uh, like the video please share with your friends comment your valuable opinions and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye